Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we read a very important book in the Bible as we study the book of Nahum, that is from the Old Testament King James Version Bible. Here we will try to understand the book of Nahum. For everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. Luke chapter 12 verse 48. Nineveh had been given the privilege of knowing the one true God. Under Jonah's preaching, this great Gentile city had repented and God had graciously stayed his judgment. However, a hundred years later, Nahum proclaims the downfall of this same city. The Syrians have forgotten their revival and have returned to their habits of violence, idolatry and arrogance. As a result, Babylon will so destroy the city that no trace of it will remain. A prophecy fulfilled in painful detail. The Hebrew word Nahum, which means comfort, consolation, is a shortened form of Nehemiah, comfort of Yahweh. The destruction of the capital city of Asaria is a message of comfort and consolation to Judah and all who live in fear of the cruelty of the Asarians. The title of this book in the Greek and Latin Bibles is Naum and Nahum. Yes, beloved. Now, let us try to understand the author of Nahum. The only mention of Nahum in the Old Testament is found in 1 chapter verse 1 when he is called as Elko Shai. At least four locations have been proposed for Elkosh. First, a 16th century tradition identifies Elkosh with Al Kush in Iraq, north of the site of Nineveh and on the Tigris River. Second, Jerome believed that Elkesi, a city near Rama in Galilee, was Elkosh because of similarity of the consonants. And third, Capernaum means city of Nahum, Kefar Nahum. And many believe that the name Elkosh was changed to Capernaum in Nahum honor. Nahum's honor. The fourth point is most conservative scholars believe that Elkosh was a city of southern Judah, later called El C L C C I, between Jerusalem and Gaza, that is El C C I. Okay, this would make Nahum a prophet of the southern kingdom and may explain his interest in triumph of Judah, that is in chapter 1 verse 15 and 2 verse 2. Now, let us try to understand the Christ of Nahum. As while there are no direct messianic prophecies in Nahum, the divine attributes in chapter 1 verse 2 to 8 are consistent with Christ's work as the judge of the nations in his second advent. Yes, beloved, as we try to understand the keys to Nahum, the key word, the judgment of Nineveh. If ever a city deserved the title here to stay, Nineveh was that city. The great city appeared invincible, but into the scene steps Nahum, a prophet of God's judgment, do declare Yes, the Nineveh will fall. Less than half a century later, the prediction of God's spokesman comes true as great city topples before the Babylonian onslaught, never again to be rebuilt. Important point, beloved, as we read here just now, Nahum, a prophet of God's judgment, to declare the Nineveh will fall less than half a century later, the prediction of God's spokesman comes true as great city topples before the Babylonian onslaught, never again to be rebuilt. Beloved, when God speaks, 
to his prophet he speaks earlier as we read the mighty word in amos 3:7 it says that god reveals his word to his prophet and then he does it yes beloved it is true yes god speaks to his prophet yes as we see also in the similar manner god had spoken to abraham also yes beloved every word in the bible is true beloved and nothing will fail for a mighty god is the same yesterday today and forever yes as we read in hebrews 13 verse 8 and also this is not a book story book or a guide it is the road map of life beloved the word the words are spirit the word is life yes the words are life as we read the mighty word from john 6 verse 63 yes everything which is happening in your life my life everything god already knows it for from the beginning he knows the end beloved as we read in isaiah 46 verse 10 and also yes he has planned a future as the prophecy for this year for you and for me as we read from jeremiah 29 verse 11 it says i know your thoughts god already knows our thoughts beloved and his plans of future hope prosperity welfare peace yes and also of future for you and me yes beloved nothing will go against his will when we surrender ourselves in his hands yes beloved and always say that i will be done john 6 was 60 john 6 was 36 as the word says the word is spirit the word is life john 6 was 63 the word is proven the word is flawless beloved Yes, he is the omnipotent God who reigns. As we read in Revelation 19 verse 6, whatever is your good wish, you would desire, my dear sister, my dear brother, my dear children, my dear youth, God will fulfill it. For the word says in Psalm 37, delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desire of your heart. What is it to delight in the Lord? As we read in 1 John 3 verse 22, it says we have to fear Him. and do what is pleasing in his sight we have to keep his commandments and he will give us the desire of our heart yes beloved trust the lord at all times as we read in psalm 62 verse 8 the words are true the words that was we read in psalm 34 yes it says in verse 8 oh taste and see the lord is good blessed is the man who trust in him hallelujah for in all these things we are more than conquerors beloved remember it as we read in romans 8 verse 37 Yes, the words are true. Jesus Christ is present with you and me right now. Every second, every moment he is present with us. Mighty sister, mighty brother, who are in the sick bed, be healed right now in the name of Yahweh Rafaqa. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, he heals us. Hallelujah. Yes, there is nothing impossible with God. Everything is possible with God, beloved. As we read the mighty word, yes, Luke 1:37 and also in Matthew 19 verse 26. Yes, for he is the maker of heaven and earth, beloved. As we read the mighty word. Yes, it says in Psalm 121. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps his rail will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your feet yes from being snared. Yes beloved. Yes, he is a mighty God and he loves us. And remember there are myriads of angels surrounding you and me. For the words are true as we read in Psalm 68 verse 18. Yes, there are 20,000 chariots for each one of us. And so let us bless his name. for he daily loads us with benefits psalm 68 verse 19 and he will set the bound into prosperity hallelujah as we read in psalm 68 his name is yah verse 4 verse 5 and 6 says he will set the bound into prosperity he will place the single in families the solitary in the families hallelujah yes beloved he is the father of the fatherless and the defender of the widows Remember this word Psalm 147. Yes, my dear sister, wipe away those tears. Yes, Jesus Christ is blessing you right now. For those sisters who are barren, Jesus Christ is blessing you for the word says in Exodus 23:26, yes, there will be nobody barren in the land and he's blessed us with the full life span. Yes, my dear brother, yes, do not quit in life. Yes, my dear sister, do not quit in life. Do not commit suicide. Do not give up in life. Yes because you are in this world 
God has a plan for you and me. Yes. And when we commit ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. He will take care of us. For the word says, 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. The words are true, beloved. As we read, Mark 8, verse 34, it says, He who desires to follow me, let him take up his cross and follow me daily. Yes, beloved. Yes. And also, he is there with us. Yes, he will provide all our needs, beloved. Yes, it is true. I am his witness. He is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide. He is a Emmanuel God with us. He is our Ebenezer. God will help us. He is a Ishunasi. Yes, he is a banner. As we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. Yes, he is a banner, beloved. Yes. And also, he will take care of all our needs. As the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The words are true. Psalm 23 verse 1. Let us go in his presence boldly, beloved. The word says in Zechariah 1 verse 3. Yes, the same word as we read in Malachi chapter 3. Return to me and I will return to you. Yes, beloved. The words are true. He is the living God, beloved. He is the living God. Yes. And also, as we are yet speaking, he will hear. And as we pray, he will answer. The words are true. Isaiah 65 verse 24. So let us go in his presence boldly. For the word says in, as we read, the Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17 to 21. I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently will find me. Let us seek him diligently, beloved. Yes, and we will surely find him. Yes, the words are true. As it says in verse 21, Bestowing wealth on all those whom, whom he loves and making the treasuries full. Yes, hallelujah. We will receive the blessings when we go in his presence and ask him, beloved. For the word says, ask and he shall receive it will be given to every one. The word is saying every one. As we read in Matthew chapter 7 verse 8. So the word also says in Mark 11 verse 24. Ask and believe that you have received it and you will receive it. The words are true beloved. Hallelujah. The words are true as we read in John 15 verse 7. It says when you abide in me and my words abide in you. Whatever you desire you will ask and I will do it for you. I will give it to you. Yes, beloved. The words are true in John 14, 14. Ask. Yes, the word says in the name of Yeshua Messiah and you will receive it. The words are true, beloved. Hallelujah. Whatever is your request, whether it is a secret problem, whether you are sitting in the dungeon, whether you are sitting in the darkness, Jesus Christ will deliver you. He will deliver you from all the addictions, from all your pain, from your grief, sorrow and agony. Hallelujah. Yes, for he is the mighty God, beloved. Yes, he is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He is a Malaika, Malekim. Yes, the words are true, beloved. Yes, he is the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, whatever our requests are there for today, whether it is food, water, bread, money or anything or healing, Jesus Christ will heal you. For as we read in Luke chapter 7 verse 21, at that very hour, yes, the people were healed. Those who had infirmities, afflictions, the blind received the sight. And also the evil spirits departed. For every authority is there with a living God, Ishu Masiha. As we read in Matthew chapter 28, yes, and the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Ishu Masiha. Hallelujah. And he's promised us, he's with us till the end of the age. Hallelujah. For he's a guide even unto death. As we read in Psalm 48 verse 14, as the words are true, as we read in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, the words are true, beloved, that be strong, be courageous. Yes. And do not be dismayed, do not be terrified, for our living God hates cowardness, beloved. The words are true, Revelation chapter 19, for 365 times in the Bible it says, Fear thou not, the words are true, beloved. Hallelujah, yes, the words are living, yes, the word is fire, the word is hammer which will break the rock into pieces. As we read in Jeremiah 23, verse 29, yes, beloved, yes, the words are living and true. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Remember this word always as we read in Psalm 34 verse yes, 19. And in all these things we are more than conquerors. Remember this word from Romans 8 verse 37. So my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshua Masiha. Philippians 4 verse 19. For us to live is Christ and die is gain, beloved. Remember it as we read in Philippians 1 verse 21. So let us always say, Thy will be done. John 6 verse 38. Yes, beloved. And he will bless us abundantly. As we read in Ephesians 3.20. In Psalm 38 verse 6. Yes, the words are true. As we read 
he has loved us beloved yes he's loved us with everlasting love as we read in jeremiah 31 verse 3 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son Yeshua Messiah, on the cross for us that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life john 3 16 so the commandment for you and me is from john 15 verse 12 love one another yes beloved love can break all barriers love removes all misunderstanding and all doubts and all fears yes and love never ends remember it beloved so let us love one another yes and let us love our living god with all our heart mind soul and strength that is what he requires as we read in deuteronomy 10 verse 12 and also in john chapter 14 and john chapter 15 yes beloved let us love our living god who is there with us and my dear children my dear youth he will bless you with wisdom as we ask him the words are true James 1 verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and abrade it not. The words are true. King Solomon asks a living God wisdom. Yes, as we read in 1 Kings 3 13, and God blessed him with not only wisdom, richness and honor also. Hallelujah. Yes, he will bless us also with richness and honor. Let us meditate on his word. For when we meditate on his word, we will have wealth and richness. The words are true. Psalm 112 verse 3. Yes, so let us take at least half an hour and go in his presence boldly. Read the Bible and pray. For nothing can stop what God has ordained for you and me. Hallelujah. As we read in Isaiah 14 verse 27. Yes, beloved. For many are the plans of the man's heart, but it is the purpose of the Lord that prevails. Remember it. As read in Proverbs 19 verse 21, the word says, Commit your plans to the Lord and he will direct your paths. The words are true, beloved, in Proverbs 16 verse 3. And also, the Lord shall be my confidence and he will keep my feet from being, in, being ensnared. The words are true as we read in Proverbs 3, yes, verse 26. And the word says, yes. Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and he will direct your paths. Hallelujah. As we read in Proverbs 3 verse 6, what else do you require? Your every question will be answered as you read the Bible, beloved. For when you read the Bible, God is speaking to you. And when we pray, we are speaking to God. Let it go hand in hand. And let us be victorious in life. For the victory rests with the mighty God. Proverbs 21 verse 31. Yes, beloved. Yes, for when we serve the Lord and when we keep his commandments and fear him. What is the result? We will have prosperity all our days and also we will have pleasure all our years. As we read in Job 36 verse 11, let us receive the blessings. Who does not want prosperity? We all need it. Hallelujah. And he will bless us, our living God. Yes, our Ebenezer, our Emmanuel. Yes, our Asianacy will bless us abundantly for the word is true, it says in Joshua 21, verse 45, that all the promises that God gave, nothing failed, everything came to pass. It is true, beloved. Yes, yes, the words are true. It is living. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever, for heavens and earth shall pass away. But his words will not pass away. Matthew 24, 35. And the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God stands forever. As we read in Isaiah 40, verse 8, and my dear brother, my dear sister, the word comes to you and to me that he will carry us even in our grey hair and old age. As read in Isaiah 46 verse 4, yes, and he was within me is greater than he was in this world. 1 John 4.4. 4. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, beloved. For when we love one another, Christ lives in us and his love is made complete through us. 1 John 4.12. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. So arise and shine. Yes, Isaiah 60 verse 1. Yes, be victorious in life. For the battle is the Lord's. 1 Samuel 17 verse 47. As we try to understand the key words of Nahum, it says in chapter 1 verse 7 and 8 and 3, 5 to 7, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. It is true, beloved. The Lord is our light and salvation and a very present help in trouble as we read in Psalm 27. And he knows those who trust in him. But with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end. Of its place and the darkness will pursue his enemies as we read in chapter 1 7 and 8 behold i am against you says the lord of hosts i will lift your skirts over your face and i will show the nations your nakedness and the kingdoms your shame i will cast abominable the filth upon you make you wild and make you a spectacle it shall come to pass that all who look upon you will flee from you and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who will bemoan her? Where shall I seek comforters for you? 
as we read in chapter 3, 5 to 7. Remember, beloved, our God is a God of discipline, of jealousy. Yes, for we have to love our Lord, a God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. Yes, beloved. And also, his nature is revealed in Exodus 34. He's a God full of compassion, mercy, abounding in grace and also long-suffering. Yes, and truth. And he forgives our sins. Yes, beloved. He came in this world not for the righteous, but for the sinners, for repentance. Hallelujah. Yes, so be filled with joy and peace, for he is the Prince of Peace. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 And he is God of discipline. When we go wrong, he will discipline us. And he will also love us and train us in the way we should go. Hallelujah. Key chapter is Nahum chapter 1. The chapter of Nahum records the principles of divine judgment resulting in the decree of destruction of Nineveh and deliverance and celebration of Judah, beginning with chapter 1 verse 9. And the single thrust of Nahum's prophecy is the retribution of God upon the wickedness of Nineveh. Nineveh's judgment is irreversibly decreed by the righteous God who will no longer delay his wrath. Asaria's arrogance and cruelty to the other nations will come to a sudden end. Her power will be useless against the mighty hand of Yahweh. Yes, Yahweh is the name of a loving God. Yes, and a loving Father. Nahum 1, 2-8 portrays the patience, the power, the holiness and justice of the living God. He is slow to wrath, but God settles his accounts in full. This book concerns the downfall of Asaria, but it is written for the benefit of of the surviving kingdom of Judah. Israel had already been swallowed up by Saria. The people in Judah who trust in the Lord will be comforted to hear of God's judgment upon the proud and brutal Asarians, as we read in chapter 1, 15 verse and 2 verse 2. Yes, beloved, so as God has loved us and also He's a master, He's a creator, yes, and He's the gate. Whoever enters will find pasture inside, outside, and will be at safety. So let us listen to his word, for the word says, Yes, he is the fountain of wisdom. The words are true. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of Holy One is understanding. Yes, the words are true, beloved, as we read in Proverbs 9 verse 10. And when we listen, we will live in safety, security, and with fear of no harm, as we read in Proverbs 1 verse 33. So let us obey him. For with obedience we have victory, as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 11. Let us be victorious in life. Arise and shine is the word for you and me, beloved. Hallelujah. Yes, do like and subscribe the channel Arise and Shine, Alfred Rathod and Family, USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel Arise and Shine. As God has called me to be a prophetess and uh, evangelist and priest, I'm here for a service, for we are his clay and he is a potter. Isaiah 64, verse 8. Yes, and I would like to say that, that thy will be done, as we read in John, yes, chapter 6, verse 38. Yes, beloved. For as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Joshua 24, verse 15. Hallelujah. God bless you, as we read in number 6, verse 24. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. Yes. Amen. Amen. For this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Psalm 118. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen.